Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. And in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, the PDF library that's part of NetAvenge for jQuery product. Using the PDF library inside of ASP.NET and MVC applications, you can actually create uh, a completely new uh, PDF document in memory with all its sections um, and any other elements that you want to make it part of the PDF document, like images, um, tables, text, uh, rich text and all that stuff uh, all in memory in a PDF document and then you can export that in your web application to the client and if the client happens to have a PDF reader they can look at the at the document uh, it's a pretty standard scenario to generate reports invoices and other things uh, into PDF and then um, and then have it available for your users so introduce accepts with a complete PDF library and uh, we're going to take a look at some of the functionality that's available to you so in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, table, uh, the jQuery grid table, and then export its data to PDF. So what I have in front of me is a Visual Studio 2010 project, ASP on MVC. And let's run this uh, and see what we have at runtime. So it's a typical, uh, it's a typical MVC application, and here's a grid displaying customer information from Northwind database, and we are displaying five columns. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring a, t a button at the bottom here and uh, when the user clicks on that button it takes the same data from the model and export that to data to PDF document. So back in our Visual Studio uh, what we have in our app data folder is uh, a Northwind instance embedded in, your, in our web application. We are using uh, Entity Framework as our ORM solution so we have all the classes and everything entities created for us. And in our model, uh, what we have is a customer model class defined right here. And what what's uh, in the customer model class is one static method which is called get customer list. And what it's doing, it's basically going through our Northwind entities, and grabbing all the customers, and returning as I queryable to the method call. So back to our controller, um, what we have is uh, the customer list action method uh, which is called anytime the, uh, the grid is trying to bind and, and grab its data. So in the customer list method uh, we are calling that model um, uh, static method which returns all of our customers and in this case we are grabbing everything and passing it back to our view. So if you look at the view what we have in there is we have it uh, defined a grid uh, using razor syntax and setting up those five columns that we see at runtime and here is our URL action which is a customer list method call in our controller and setting up some additional properties in the grid control and finally calling the data bind and dot render method so doing all of this it uh, brings up all the data from the uh, the customers customer data from Northern database uh, through our model, pass it onto the controller, and then pa uh, the grid uh, grabs it once it calls the uh, URL action. So what we're going to do next is we want to first of all uh, add a button to the page, uh, and upon the click of that button, we want to convert that same data into a PDF document and then export that uh, and make it available for our users. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab this HTML and then paste it in here in our view. And what this is doing is it's it's creating an HTML form uh, using the um, RZA syntax again, and uh, we're defining the actual action method. In this case, our action method is going to be export data to PDF, uh, and it's, it's sitting in our home controller, and the form method is going to be a post. So by doing that, wrapping this our submit button into this HTML begin form. What's going to happen is whenever the user clicks this button, it's going to call our action method automatically. So in our home controller, what we have is the action method call um, export data to PDF defined here. So you can see this region, we are setting up some, um, some variables, um, section, borders, um, some graph, uh, graphic fonts, uh, font style and header font that we're going to use throughout our PDF generation. But really in this action method, first of all, we start off is again start by using the actual PDF API. So we have a report, everything is part of the report and then you create uh, additional elements and you 
are going to continue to add to the report. So it's sort of a forward only mechanism where you create the, the item that you want and you start adding stuff to it. So report is our base um, item and then we go ahead and set up some default styles and set up a default section of the report. Again, let's go quickly go to these uh, methods and see what we're doing there. So if we come back here, set up styles, we're just grabbing um, or, or setting some some base style for our document that we want to export. So we're using the Infogix document, our reports, our graphics API to set up some colors for the border style, font style, and header font. These are the three variables that we're using globally uh, and we're going to consume that throughout our PDF generation. Next we call is the setup default section. So this is the actual section that's part of the report. We're passing on the report object and uh, we set up some margins, set, set the orientation of our section and that becomes our base sort of, uh, um, sort of page for the PDF. So again, coming back up in our method call, once we're done, up, uh, done with the default section styles, we go ahead and um, create a band um, that gets added to our section and then a report header, we want to have a report uh, header for report, we can set up a text uh, for that report. Then we go ahead, because it's a grid that we're exporting, we need a table, we need table rows and headers and cells and, and all those elements. So we have an iTable um, object we, and we use that to add a table to our section. Then we go ahead, add some properties to our table like the margins, the width of the borders uh, and other properties. Then we go ahead and define our header for that table. So uh, we create that by calling table of header, which gives us the header for that table. We set up some um, additional uh, uh, formatting on that. And then we go ahead and call these methods uh, at um, header cell, which is basically what it does. It takes the header element that we defined here and the actual text that we want to display in there. So uh, because it's static text, we, are, we need five columns uh, to be exported from our customer's table. We go ahead and create the uh, five header cells that we want. Next, uh, what we do is we call the add table rows uh, method and this is basically where all our data is being pulled from the Northern database and is uh, put into the actual table which is part of our PDF document so let's go back and view its definition So coming down here in table rows what we're doing here is we're creating some variables for table row a cell and a text uh, we're going to continue to add rows and then um, for each row we're going to depending on um, the customer count we're going to continue to add cells and then text in, that, in those cells. So here is where we call that same model method, which is get customer list, grab all of our information from the model, and uh, which is what is returned as our uh, I query of customers. And then what we do is we simply go through our customer list and uh, add, con add rows to our table. So for add a row, uh, set up again some properties for it, uh, add a sort of a, a alternate color style here by, by defining that if it's an odd row then the background color is white, if it's an, an, uh, an even row then the background color is grayish. And then we, uh, we go ahead and add the table cell properties. So per cell we add some paddings, background, borders, um, then we go ahead and add the text of that cell pulling in from that customer information. So again, we're iterating through all the customers and here's uh, what we do for uh, a simple customer ID cell. So we add a cell, add some properties to it and then we do a cell text.add content and grab our customer ID information from the object. And we continue to do this with the company name uh, cell and so on and so forth for all the five columns that we're displaying. So back to our main method call. Uh, once we're done with adding rows, uh, the next step is uh, we want to grab the response stream and uh, basically push out our PDF document through the response. So we clear the response first, add the um, header, and add a attachment of file name to be customerList.pdf. Um, change the content type and finally call the report.publish method which takes in the response and output stream and we can also set up, set up a file format in this case we set up PDF you can actually use the same library to export that uh, export the same data as an XPS or a plain text if you wanted but we're going to continue with the PDF document and finally we call response.end so by do, doing all of that uh, let's run this 
By doing all of that, it's going to grab our model data and um, and create a PDF document table, header structure, and everything, and uh, pass it on to the client. So let's click on this button. And you see at the bottom, I have a toaster that says open, save, and cancel. We have a customer list of PDF available. Let's open that. And you can see this, that uh, the data that was is viewable in the actual grid in the background is now seen in the PDF document by using the PDF library of Infogistix in NetAvantage for jQuery product. You can see the entire data with multiple pages is being exported. We have set up a style of alternate rows, header styles, created tables, um, um, and, uh, and just went through our customer list and uh, created those table rows and table cells and set up formatting accordingly. So again, in this quick, quick video, you saw that uh, the PDF library that's part of NetAvantage for jQuery product it's very easy to use that in your ASP and MVC application to create PDF document in memory and export that to the client. Thanks for watching. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.